Pentacles, how are you? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. This is your general love reading for January 18th of 2022. It's good to see you guys. I hope all is well with you, your loved ones, your pets. Let's get right into it and see here what is going on with you in your love life. All right, check out the description box below. There's information there, a lot of information there, but mainly how to book a personal reading with me, all of my social media information, how to become a member, and you'll also find an extended reading link. If you're interested in purchasing it, you can click that link. It will take you over to Vimeo where I will continue this reading over there. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, please. That's how you spread my content okay across youtube and it also shows gratitude and support so i appreciate that and you can also click that little bell button below that will notify you anytime i go live or i post a new virgo reading for you all right so let's go ahead and see virgos what's going on with you guys how have you guys been feeling in love let's see here what the universe has for me to share with you all right so spirit please show me how is virgo oh oh wow that was too many that fell out. You got Ace of Pentacles, Page of Wands, and Ace of Wands. Wow. Some of y'all, somebody new is around you or you're talking to somebody new. Okay? Because you got two aces that just fell on the table. So aces represent new potential. Okay? But let's see if they come out in the spread. All right? So show me, Spirit, what I need to see from my Virgos, please. Show me what I need to see from my Virgos. Show me what I need to see from my Virgos. What's going on with Virgos in love? Okay, Six of Swords in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Well, that's your energy. Male or female. I don't know why you're in reverse, though. Okay. The Magician. Okay. Manifesting. Power, page of coins in reverse, more earth energy. Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign, possibly another Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. What else we got for Virgo? What else is happening for my Virgos in love, please? Oh, the tower in reverse. Scorpio energy. Queen of Cups in reverse. Whoa. If you're a Virgo male, I feel like there's two women around you. If you're a heterosexual gay man, um, not gay. If you're a heterosexual Virgo male, got two women here. All right. Two of Cups in reverse and the Four of Cups. Your overall energy is the Death card. Scorpio energy also a card about transformation about new beginnings like I said in the beginning those two aces fell out on the table for you which usually mean you know um new potential starting over for some of you I'm seeing an ending with somebody I feel like there's an ending with somebody um because you got the two of cups in reverse and you got the death card six of swords in reverse tower here I feel like for some of you there's a little bit of resistance as far as um letting go of this specific person who definitely seems very disinterested in this connection i gotta be honest with you um person could be younger than you feel like they put you through an emotional roller coaster um i i know it's hard and i feel like a lot of you regret a lot of things that went down here but i feel like it's best for you to move forward because you got the tower in reverse and the six of swords in reverse there's a little bit of a resistance here to change. Some of you are even reluctant or kind of edging towards going back to this person or still kind of wanting this person. Um, and I get it. It's because you felt a connection. You felt something strong here with them. But I also see the emotional damage that, that's been caused, okay? Possibly between both of you, okay? Um, some of you, it's a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you got an Earth sign here, possibly another Earth sign could be another uh, Virgo, like I said, or a Taurus or a Capricorn. Um, heavy Scorpio energy is here. So some of you could have Scorpio in your chart or you could be dealing with the Scorpio. Um, 
with the d tower in reverse and the death card here. Um, I feel like this situation that ended, okay, with you being the magician, I feel like you tried everything in your power to try to make this work. Some of you could still be trying to make this work. I don't, because I don't think you're 100% happy with, you know, being away from them or being separated from them with the four cups here. Some of you actually have other people that are interested in you, but you're rejecting offers with the with the four of cups. Like you're not interested. All right. So let's go ahead and clarify. We'll get more information. That's just what I got so far from the foundation cards. And let's see here what we get when we clarify. Okay. And don't forget personal readings. Email me, Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. I do offer expedited readings. If you need the reading within 24 hours or the next day, I offer those for an additional price. And like I said earlier, there's an extended reading link below if you're interested, where I will continue the reading over on Vimeo. I'll do a full spread on your person, see how they feel about you and what actions they'll be taking moving forward towards you. I'll also pull some advice oracle cards for you as well. We always have fun in the extended. I always give you guys a little extra. So let's see here. Show me the Six of Swords, please, in reverse. Why is the Six of Swords in reverse? The Wheel of Fortune in reverse with the Ace of Pentacles. You see, I feel like the universe got something new for you right here. Just waiting for you. Um, but some of y'all kind of feel like, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it could be a little bit of fear moving forward um, to try to have something new. Because some of you feel like you have bad luck in love. Sometimes the Wheel of Fortune in reverse can mean that. Somebody feeling like they have bad luck or things are just not turning in their favor at the moment. Um, it can also mean like things just not going your way at the moment. You know what I mean? And we have ups and downs in life. Sometimes we have to go through the downs, you know what I mean? So we can get to the ups. You know what I mean? But I feel like overall the universe has something nice here for you with the Ace of Pentacles. Show me the Queen of Coins in reverse. The Eight of Cups. Okay. With the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, a lot of you did walk away from somebody here. Um, yeah, a lot of you did walk away from somebody here. Um, I think it was, it was hard for you. Because you cared a lot for this person, but I feel like you needed to turn that care reversely into yourself. You know what I mean? Everything you were giving. Some of you actually helped this person financially or... I feel like this person was dealing with you for the wrong reasons. For a specific Virgo, I'm seeing something about your financial status or like your home. Like they just was with you because they needed a place to stay. Or they were just with you for because you helped them financially. Like, I'm not seeing this person's intentions being uh, too good for a lot of you. Um, that's not for everybody. But overall, I see you walked away from a specific situation, which is good. A lot of you are more focused on your career now, your money. Um, yeah. Let's see the magician here. A lot of you are trying to manifest new things. King of Pentacles, look at you. You definitely got some money coming in. <laughs> some of y'all definitely taking a career uh, dive, which is good. Um, I see a lot of good things happening in your career. More money. Um, some of you have manifested a new job or a promotion. That's awesome. Um, you got the Ten of Cups in reverse. So it's like, yeah, well, I didn't get my happily ever after. So kind of similar to Capricorn. So let me focus on um, my coins. Okay. A beautiful, 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 beautiful. Let's see the page of coins here in reverse. Who is this? Three of wands in reverse with the page of swords. I feel like this is the person you walked away from. Very immature energy. Very too laid back in this connection. Not very trustworthy for some of you or reliable. Um, reliable was screaming at me like you just, this person wasn't reliable. Like you could ask them to be somewhere and they just weren't there. Ask them for something, they weren't there. Made promises they can't keep. Things like that. With the three of wands in reverse, it was hard for you to see a future with this person. Um, some of you guys, this person even had financial problems. Okay, but I'm just getting a very strong, immature, lazy, 
inertia type energy from this person page of swords here it could be an air sign aquarius libra gemini i feel like possibly this person does still keep tabs on you sometimes the page of swords represents a spy in tarot so it could be showing us that this person is even though you guys are not together they're still keeping tabs on you whether it's through driving past your old you know your place where you work or keeping tabs on you through social media all right Show me the tower card in reverse, which happens with exes, especially if they're not over you. They're going to want to still know what you're doing, what you're up to. Ten of Pentacles oof, with the fool. Aries energy. So I feel like, damn, you thought you and this person was going to have it all. We could have had it all. Rolling in the deep. I feel like you really thought you and this person were going to be like a power couple because the Ten of Pentacles is like, It's like the happily after, ever after car with money. You know what I mean? So it's like you thought you and this person was really going to have it. Like grandkids, kids, and set a generational, um, you know, set up things for generations to come between the two of you. And it just wasn't that. I think it's hard for a lot of you to actually let that tower come down because it's like, damn. But with the full card here, yeah, I feel like you're ready to take a leap of faith into new you know what I mean? Start fresh, start clean. Show me the uh, Queen of Cups in reverse. The Five of Swords in reverse with the Four of Wands. You're still getting over a lot of what this person did to you emotionally. Um, I think you are, but I want to say this to a specific Virgo. Make sure you're not turning your heart like into steel or trying not like, well, I'm not going to love anybody. I'm going to turn my, I got this ice box where my heart used to be. Like, don't turn into that. Because the Queen of Cups in reverse, sometimes if someone feels like they're a victim, you know what I mean? I don't want you to turn into that. I feel like you're a strong person. You got a lot of love to give. You're very caring. We have all been through some bad things in the past. And we've, we've all encountered some very shitty ass people that try to drain us. But what the lesson is in going through that is to not let this person take a piece of you away. You get what I'm saying? Show me the two of cups, please, in reverse. The six of wands. Okay, with the eight of wands. Wow. Ooh, somebody here, y'all broke up through a text message. Well, that's crazy. Okay. Um, I think your angels want you to know you breaking up with this person or you six or you separating from this person was actually one of the best things that could have happened to you with the six of wands here. Because this is about victory. This is about success. This is about getting the win. So I feel like for some of you, you can't see it or you couldn't see it then. But I feel like a lot of you kind of can feel it now. Like it was what's best. It was for what's best. I feel like you still come out the winner. You still come out on top, but I feel like this breakup or separation needed to happen. Um, and for some of you, I'm seeing it happened through text message or it happened through email or something like that. Okay, show me the four of cups. The three of swords. Oh, man. Yeah, you're still, some of you are still heartbroken here. There's still pain. There's still some pain, um, and it's a it's a it's a step by step process. Especially if you're in love with somebody, or you're you know seriously dealing with somebody, it's not going to take you overnight to get over somebody or to heal from all these emotions. Um, yeah, it takes time. With the Three of Swords here, you know this is my heartache card, my heartbreak card, and what I say during these times when these things like that happen, when the, when these emotions hit us, the best thing you can do is just allow it to happen. You know what I mean? Allow the heartbreak, allow yourself to feel the pain. That's how you heal, okay? And that's how you learn, and that's how you mature, and you just get past it. You know what I mean? Um, heartbreak happens to many of us, you know, and it's a lesson learned. You know what I'm saying? Cause there's your person again page of pentacles in reverse it's like this person was just not they weren't giving what they could have give given towards this i see that like i said the page of pentacles is a very in reverse is a very um immature energy it's also i mean all the pages are your person keeps pulling page energy which shows me they are very um, immature. Some of you, they could be younger than you. 
um, but they're not pulling like you're pulling queen energy, king energy, which shows me you're very mature. This person is still has a lot of things to learn, but they just seem like they were very distracted in this relationship or this connection. For some of you, they was focused on other people. Sometimes the page of coins in reverse can mean like not putting your focus on this connection, but on other people. You know what I mean? So for some of you, that could have been the case, but I see it's been difficult for you, but I feel like you're going to get there. You know what I mean? I feel like you're going to get there in due time. You know what I mean? Um, you keep manifesting with the magician card and you stay strong. Allow this tower to come down. It hurts, but I feel like for a lot of you, sometimes the tower in reverse means averting a disaster. So I feel like for some of you, this person could have tried to cause a tower moment in your life. Or they could have definitely caused in the future some type of disastrous moment between the two of you. So like I said, for, for a lot of you, this breakup, this separation was one of the best things that could have happened to you. Even though sometimes it's hard to see things that way when you have feelings involved. I'm telling you because I feel like this person would have caused even more damage than they already had. So for a lot of you, it's good that you did walk away. All right, let's look from another deck. And a lot of you feel like, you know, right now, Wheel of Fortune in reverse, you know, maybe it's not my time for love and, oh, I can't believe this happened to me. This, you know, things aren't working out for me. The wheel always has to, you know, turn around and, and be upright again, which means things have to always start flowing again for you. You know what I mean? When the Wheel of Fortune is upright, it's like things are going well, everything's going in our favor, but it can't always be that way. Like I said, sometimes we have to have the bad things happen because that's how we grow. Okay, so let's look from another deck here. How does Virgo feel about this person? Yeah, I'm seeing the chariot as I'm shuffling. Cancer energy. I feel like a lot of you are, you keep getting cards about victory, about succeeding. So I really wouldn't worry. Let's see, how does uh, Virgo feel about this person that we're channeling right now? The Emperor, Aries energy. Look at you. You see you're in control. Some of y'all is your child's father or your child's mother. But I feel like, oh, what popped out? The High Priestess, okay. Okay. I feel like with the High Priestess coming out, two major arcana cards here. I feel like some of y'all just could kind of feel that this was going to go this way with your intuition. Like intuitively, you were getting downloads or messages here. You know what I mean? That this was going to happen. And I feel like a lot of you intuitively, you're getting messages from the universe letting you know it's going to be okay. You know what I mean? With the high priestess, it shows me you're very intuitive. You're very connected to your spiritual world. The wheel of fortune again in reverse. The two of swords in reverse. With the Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, some of y'all, this person was, um, sometimes the Knight of Cups in reverse can be somebody who's very emotionally deceptive. Um, and that's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I feel like with the Two of Swords in reverse, for some of y'all, this was a decision that you had to make for, like you were stuck on making for a long time. Because sometimes the Two of Swords upright is like, it's a, a difficult decision, a hard decision to be made. You know what I mean? In reverse, I feel like you finally made it. Um, but you got that wheel of fortune again in reverse. Like you feeling like, you know, like, damn, like, it's just not my time. Like, you know, like I don't have shit working out for me right now. Show me the wheel of fortune in reverse. Two of cups in reverse. Yeah, there it is again with the four of wands. Some of y'all were actually living with this person. But I feel like you got the two of cups in reverse here from two different tarot decks. Some of you just feel like, damn, like, why did this have to happen to me? You know what I mean? Like, why did this breakup or this separation have to happen to me? You know what I mean? Damn, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Virgo. But I will tell you with the emperor card, you're in control here. 
you're in control of your life you know what i mean the emperor is a card of somebody who's bringing structure and order to a situation so i feel like a lot of you you're in your emperor energy which is big boss shit okay it's also somebody who's pretty successful like in their career you know what i mean um the the emperor is a is a very good card to get in a reading because it shows you're on top of your game it can sometimes mean emotionally removing yourself from a situation like the emperor doesn't show any emotions he has to rule you know what i mean he has to reign so sometimes you have to make decisions where you have to put your emotions to the backboard so you can make decisions. So I feel like for a lot of you being the emperor, you had to kind of be not emotionless, but you had to think as a, you know, as a leader, you know what I mean? If that makes sense, like you had to make adult decisions, um, decisions not based on your feelings, based on hardcore facts. You know what I mean? Um, and I feel like with the high priestess here, intuitively, you know you made the right choice. You know you made the right choice. You know you're going in the right direction. Um, that's good that you get that card upright because sometimes people, their emotions are kind of all over the place. And um, it's hard for them to connect with their intuition when things like this happen. And they have no idea what their intuition is telling them. Sometimes people be all up in their head and think that, you know, their intuition is telling them one thing and meanwhile it's a whole nother thing you know give me a gypsy oracle card please for this person enemy whoa look at that look at that oh man enemy love yeah you love this person a lot i know you did i know you did i know you did waiting here some of y'all are oof melancholy with the hope here see you, you there's hope for you virgo there's hope for you with the melancholy melancholy card here i feel like sometimes a few of you you get a little bit down you know what i mean when you think about the situation it hurts and you wish things went a different way um I think a lot of you had a lot of hope for this connection. Um, the waiting card is here. I feel like a lot of you are just kind of waiting for love. Or some of you hopefully are not waiting for this person to change or come towards you. Because I wouldn't recommend that. But I see here you had a lot of love for them. A lot of love. Some of you still do. You know what I mean? Even regardless of what they did. I feel like this person, for some of you, this person cheated on you. Or this person was just very sneaky with the enemy card here. Um, cause in this car, you can see somebody's like hiding behind a tree, waiting for somebody to come walking towards them. Like they're going to rob them or something or kill them or something. Not saying your person's going to do that. I'm just saying this car just shows you that it's about somebody who you think is, you know, for you who isn't. Okay. Um, which sucks. You know what I mean? I always say give it three to six months when you're dating somebody, you know what I mean? Before you even get sexual with them, um, to just fill them out, see their, their pattern, you know what I mean? Cause I feel like within six months, if somebody is faking, it's something is gonna, you're going to get some type of red flag to show you, you know what I mean? Um, so sometimes it's good to just wait and fill people out, you know what I mean? But that's what I have for you Virgos. That is your general love reading for January 18th. Of 2022 it's not going to resonate with every single person some of you may be bits and pieces because i am channeling a lot of different energies but that is what i have we're going to go into the extended reading now where i'm going to do a full spread on your person see how they feel about you and what actions they're going to be taking moving forward towards you and we'll also get some advice for you from the universe to see how the universe feels you should proceed in love and with dealing with this person all right, Virgos, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all of you. I hope you all have a wonderful, fantabulous, blessed week. And I will see you guys in the extended. If not, I'll see you next time. Bye.